Susan, it seems to me like there's a big redrawing of boundaries going on between the workplace. Uh, well, actually, between the talent marketplace and you know, in the workplace, people are really being very specific about what they will and they won't accept now from, uh, you know, the the the, the work environments. What what do you think is going on? When I look at it, I actually see the seeds of this today uh, going back 30, 35 years, right? When we go back 30, think about our parents and our grandparents. They lived in the gold watch generation. And in that generation, those generations, there was absolute loyalty. Employees were loyal because companies were loyal back. I'm not saying it was an obligation. It's just the model. And so you'd work for 30, 35 years, you'd earn your pension, your gold watch, and you knew that you had your job. When shareholder value, I mean, maybe we should blame Michael Milliken, um, but when shareholder value began being the thing that companies focused on, first quietly and then vocally, um, the effort to chase the dollar and to earn margin and profit meant that the easiest expense line was always going to be headcount. Now, I'm not talking about anyone personally, but essentially what you have was the seeds for the great migration. Employees' talent is catching up to the reality and recognizing that they have value too. The workplace is not one-sided. What we bring as employees is something that is of value and you have to manage your value in the workplace.